two series. I'm gonna give a little more details and explanations on the techniques of turning. Um, I'm gonna do a 90 degree turn to the left, then I'm gonna do a 90 degree turn to the right, and a, nine, and a 180 degree turn downrange. In the first session, I'm gonna do a loaded turning technique. In the second series, I'm going to do an unloaded turning technique. Before I start explaining how to do turns, um, I'm just going to give a brief uh, update on the, the, the core position, the basic position which is uh, needed in order to execute the, the turns correctly. I call this my core position which consists of my feet approximately um, at the width of my shoulders with my feet slightly outwards and my uh, weak foot just slightly further than my uh, right strong foot. Um, my knees are a little bent and the rest of my body like a tank turret is works as one solid component so this ensures that I'm very stable and that all the movements are actually picked up by uh, my legs knees and feet and the rest of my body can actually focus on getting a good grip a good position and a good side picture we're gonna start with a 90 degree turn to the right, which means that I'm going to be facing the wall and I'm going to go and engage the target uh, down range. Again, uh, we always either which um, turn position we use, we always start with that core position and I'm going to explain how you need to use your uh, head and eyes as well as turn, land with your feet uh, prior to engaging the target. So considering that uh, we face the wall standing relaxed um, and at the beep we need to engage the target. We're going to assume our core position standing relaxed as I described um, earlier. At the beep we're going to turn our heads and eyes to grab our gun Step back with our strong foot and in the meantime take our weapon, get our side picture or red dot. Once we get an acceptable side picture, we pull the trigger. Again, our basic position is the core position. If we turn to the right, the first thing that's gonna turn is our head and eyes. We're gonna take a step back. Grab our gun, pick it out, acquire a side picture, and engage. Now in real time, at the beep. It's very important if you turn that you first turn your head and your eyes, your strong foot steps back, and you land as much as you can on the tip of your, of your foot and not on the heel of your foot or with too much force because that will vibrate through your body and that will impact your side picture and also your first shot. So that's also the reason why in the core position we assume and we lower our position through our knees so we can cushion off the step back with our strong foot. Imagine that this is a wall and that we need to engage our target to the, to the uh, left hand side. The same procedure applies, the same technique applies, which means that again our core position, we're standing relaxed. The first thing that's gonna turn is our head and our eyes. Then we're gonna take a step back, grab our gun, land, get the side picture and engage the target. So here it's important that you first turn your head 
and that not the entire body as a whole turns because you lose flexibility and also again you lose tens of uh, seconds which are important in uh, our nature of sport and sport discipline. Again, assume the core position and engage. If we do the 180, the basic principle applies. We try to acquire our core position within the 180. I recommend that you put your, your feet a little closer together. The positioning is the same, but a little closer together because that makes the turning effect and the circle smaller. And a smaller circle ensures that you can turn faster. Also in the 180, degrees turn, considering this is down range, the same principle applies. The first thing that is moving is the head and the eyes. Then you push off with your weak foot and you swivel on the tip of your strong foot. And whilst you are turning, you grab the gun and once you pass the 180, then you can actually pull it and engage the target. Not before, because if you do it before, the likelihood of um, breaking the 90 or 180 degrees rules are very high and you will be disqualified. So as a core position, the same, but your feet are going to be closer together. You put a little more weight on the tip of your strong foot, you press off with your weak foot, but the first thing that uh, turns and engages the target is your head and especially your eyes. So stand and relax. Again. Also try to land on the tip of your foot if you do the turn and not in the entirety of the foot or the heel because that will um, create some kind of a shock that will move through your body and that will impact your grip and your side picture. One more time. Let your feet closer together. Standing relaxed. The first thing that's going to turn is your head. You put your foot down. Once you acquire a good side picture, you engage the target. It's very important that you understand the basic principles of reloading and that obviously you also dry fire that a lot so that it, it gets from the, the conscious mind into the subconscious mind and it becomes, becomes a routine for which you don't have to think about it anymore. So if you need to reload, everything is done at your eye level. A lot of shooters actually do the reload very low, mostly in front of their belly, and it's much better to do the reload on eye level because then you can see what's going on and you're gonna be much faster and that needs to be a, a basic skill that you acquire in our sport. So if we need to pick up the gun, we pick up the gun and the magazine at the same time. We're going to bring up our gun and we're going to bring it up at eye level. We're not going to bring it up down here because we don't see what's going on. It makes it much more difficult and we have to bring up our gun anyway. So we're going to bring it up at eye level. Here, uh, trick that is used by some shooters is on the inside of your magwell uh, people place a uh, white sticker or a fluo sticker so that your eye is automatically drawn to it and it makes it much easier to actually load your gun. So try whilst you are practicing in dry fire also live fire training to keep a consistent reload technique preferably at the level of your eyes so you can see what's going on and acquire a good sight picture 
straight after. Again. We pick up our gun and magazine at the same time. We index our magazine. We bring our gun up to the level that we can actually see the magwell and we can see the magazine entering the frame, charge and engage the target. So again, we're going to start with a turn to the right. We again start with the basic core position, with the position of the feet and also the knees bent facing the wall. This is down range. The same technique applies as if you were shooting with a loaded gun, which means that as soon as the beep goes, you will grab your gun and your magazine at the same time. You will take a step back with your strong foot towards the rear. The first thing that's going to turn is your head and eyes. And whilst you are turning, whilst you are past the 180, you can grab your gun at eye level, insert the magazine, charge and engage the target. I'm going to do it slow. Grab the gun, turn, take a step back, charge, and engage. Again, turning to the right, we assume our color position, we add the beep, we take our, we pick up our gun, not yet out of the holster, we grab our magazine, we turn our head and eyes. We start turning, here we load the gun, charge and engage. So in this window, this is a safe window because you're not breaking the 180 uh, rule, you will pick out your gun from the holster and your magazine, you will load in front of your eyes and then engage the gun. The same technique also applies if we need to do a left hand turn. So imagine that we are facing the wall here. The same technique applies. We're going to grab our gun and magazine at the beep. We're going to grab our gun and magazine at the same time. The first thing that's going to turn is our head and eyes facing the target. Whilst we are taking our step back, swiveling on your strong foot, before you land, the objective is to load, charge, and engage. Again, assume the core position. At the beep, we grab, charge, and engage. And watch my weak foot. It steps down on the tip and not on the heel or not the flat foot because this will create the shock effect through your body. If we do the 180, the same principle applies as in the uh, loaded condition. Also here, this is a very, very um, dangerous moment, certainly for inexperienced uh, beginner shooters. If you turn, you can only turn and grab your gun when you broke the 180 to the good side, not the bad side. Everything in front, if you pull your gun out of your holster, will lead to a DQ. So here, we again assume the basic position. Remember, we just want to put our feet closer together. We're going to put a little more weight on our strong foot, being a right-handed shooter. For left-handed shooters, everything is in first. Standing relaxed, we're going to turn our heads, pick up gun and magazine, charge and load. Again, we're going to turn our heads, grab our gun and magazine. Whilst we are turning here, I'm in the same direction, bring up the gun, load. Charge 
Fala em Deus.